G'day Skate Champions and welcome to Skate Temba Day 13. We're here at the beautiful Brackenridge Skate Plaza and today is my birthday. I'm 38 years old today. Uh, my family got me this awesome Baker board, also a controller for my PC so I can play some skateboarding games. I'm gonna ride my daughter's eight inch, uh, I think it's a Alien Workshop deck with uh, Thunder Trucks. It's actually a very nice setup, so um, we'll do that for now. Of course, I haven't told you which trick we're doing today, which is the front side 180. This is actually the very, very first trick I ever, ever learned, probably from the age of 15 to 17. It's the only trick I could do until I gave up skateboarding, so I should be able to do these pretty well. We'll just maybe take them to a few little spots around this plaza. Let's get stuck in. Started with the front 180s just on flat, just to get used to them again. Um, went pretty well and then took them straight to the stair set. Mikhail was filming and uh, I really struggled to sort of land. Wasn't really bending my knees enough on the land and uh, yeah, took an absolute shinner and then wouldn't get the rotation proper. I was just sort of like all over the shot for a little while and then uh, yeah, went back to it again. Got a couple more, uh, really, really happy with those oh, lot. Yeah. Then uh, I ran into uh, Tommy Flynn, uh, who rides for Plan B and uh, DC Shoes. He was just doing some lessons here with some local kids, uh, including his nephew. And uh, lovely guy, he actually um, did a huge 180 uh, in, uh, in celebration of um, Skate Temba 13th across the big Euro gap, which was mad. Yeah, man, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, Mikhail started trying a couple of, like just get a feel um, for getting down that stair set. And uh, I showed him how to do a firecracker. That was a little bit out of his pay grade um, at, that, at this stage. Um, so he was, took it to the curb and so did my daughter Gabby. Uh, and both of them, after a couple of their attempts, really got it, uh, which was awesome. I also tried some 180s just off the um, mani pad in the middle of the park, which was nice and short, um, just to sort of get that speed right and a good, uh, a good practice on the 180s. So I got that eventually uh, amongst all the chaos of all the scooters and bike riders and skateboarders at the park today. Yeah. Uh, but before I wrap up, I actually have to do a, uh, a birthday kickflip. I did um, kickflips, all my skate tempers have pretty much been about kickflips up until this one. First one was to get my first uh, stationary kickflip. I think that was 2016. And then another one was to get uh, my first rolling kickflip. Uh, and then it was to get more consistent kickflips throughout the month. Um, so yeah, I better get one today just in uh, either birthday celebrations, let's go. Yeah, so last year I think I got the kickflip on my birthday seventh try. Uh, today, went for it a few times. I was well practiced last year. I haven't practiced my kickflips in a couple of weeks now, so getting it fifth try uh, was a pretty good, pretty good birthday present. Uh, and I tried a couple more. I think I got one or two more after that. Um, and uh, then I landed Primo and decided just to call it quits. Um, but that's it for day 13 of Skate Temba. Remember to keep skating, keep having fun, and of course, keep progressing. Take it easy, legends. I think that counts. Hey. I think that counts. It's like obstruction rules. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You're gonna have to do another one, man. Oh, my, my filming was terrible. Oh, gosh. It was terrible. Yeah, that's it. 